Okay, so here we go. We're gonna check some shoes. And here we have the damn box. Inside the damn box, we have the bag. I don't know how the original bag is supposed to look, but I'm pretty sure it looks something like this, like a bag. Anyways, we're here for the shoes. So you get the shoes out and you're pretty excited, right? They look pretty clean, they look pretty nice, and you overlook this because you're way too excited. And then you turn it around, you see first sign right there on the clear, you see the stitching. The stitching shouldn't be seen. Nike will never give you a shoe like that, especially if you pay $150, $200, even $300. Mm -mm. Or even if you pay $50 for a shoe, they don't do a half-assed shoe. Now here, in the little gaps, we see glue. The glue is overflowing. It just or it's just all over it. it. It looks horrible. And not only that, but if you can tell, it's not even aligned right. Right there, we have a little bit more glue. I guess you can see that. Um, so you see how it's not even aligned. Now here. I'm gonna show you something. Not a lot of people know about this, but the insole. The insole looks pretty nice and clean, and you know, it looks normal. But Nike always does the insoles with a couple of cuts on the side. This one you can barely tell. You see the cuts? It's barely noticeable. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's three, and then two on the other side. It varies. But you have to see them, they're very precise and you can see them from far away. Now, if you remove the insole, the inside stitching on this shoe is just horrible. It's Some of them are overlapping, they're not even well spaced. Uh, whoever put this together was just like, let's just put it together and get the damn shoe out of here. They won't even notice. They were probably in a bad mood too. Now here with the tag, the tag looks pretty clean. It looks very well put, nicely ironed on. It's not falling off, it's not half-assed, everything checks out. But the numbers, type in that model number on Google search and it should give you the exact same shoe. Same color, same everything. If it doesn't and it gives you another type of shoe, another model, then you can see that there's something wrong here. Um, I didn't check this shoe. Now the other shoe looks pretty cool, pretty clean, but you turn it around and on the clear you see the glue overlapping as well. And if you flip it over, you see a little bit more, more glue. It's just glue, glue, glue everywhere. Uh, you would think that with so much glue your shoe is going to hold up, uh, but that's not the case. See here it's misaligned as well. So when you're playing soccer, this you, you would think this shoe is going to hold up. No, like you kick the ball, half of your shoe might go one way, the other shoes, the other half of the shoe is going to go the other way. Now look here at the pull tab. This pull tab is just horrible. It's like bad wedges, giving the shoe a really bad wedgie. If I pull this up, you can see it's not even well centered. Check that out, see? Now, on the inside, we're gonna see there's a little flap there that was not glued right. So every time you put this shoe on, you're gonna see that and you're gonna remind yourself every day that you bought some fakes. How can you live with yourself like that? Now, the stitching here as well is just, it's just very ugly. Look at that. I'm gonna go get some other shoes and I'm gonna show you how they're supposed to look. Now these are the Nike Air Max Tailwinds. They're a little bit hard, but but I like them. Okay, so 
here we go inside you see that stitching is just it looks beautiful look at that it's just it, it, it's just very very nice the tag looks pretty clean as well it's not hanging out it's, it's nicely put and the insole you can see the cuts that I was talking about from far away and you can see them very clearly now I'm gonna get another parachute and I'm gonna show you the same things when I tried on the fake 270s I thought they might be a little bit comfortable but that was not the case at all um, it felt like half of my foot was going one way and the other half was going the other way I mean it was horrible it was not even a little bit comfortable and I'm not kidding you I was I was very disappointed I don't know if the real ones are like that as well but I doubt it I'm a big fan of Air Max see the um, stitching here sometimes it varies inside sometimes it's white sometimes it's gray and it's okay though um, here we have the little cuts as well you can see them from far away there's uh, there's the tag right there nicely put sometimes they're on the tongue sometimes they're on the side sometimes they're stitched to the insole when they're flying it there's no glue overlapping anything everything is very neatly put everything so here you go here's the vid if you have any questions, any comments, please comment below and I'll get to you.